Yo, good morning. It's Ricky Tice. Today my 20 is my daughter's 21st birthday. I'm out the, you know, driving to work. I figured she wanna see me later on today for her birthday, so I don't feel like taking the train out unless I'm going back home. First couple of weeks in New Jersey. Didn't get the chance to go out and work out like I usually do. But, you know, driving through Jersey, especially Newark, it's like driving through Brooklyn, the Bronzeville area, parts of Queens. As I was driving through Newark, I see they, like, I see in Jersey, they be putting up these big, luxurious apartments on the other side of town but they don't care if to come on the on a rough part of town to help build these homes I'm like yo Newark is fucking rough I'm saying I'm looking at New York's I'm looking at Newark Police Department the headquarters how the fuck is the headquarters right there in the middle Of, of Newark not the city part and stuff but in a rough part I mean it's like being in fucking D.C. when you go to Washington D.C. you got the nation's capital around but all around the other neighborhoods is like it's rough neighborhoods ghettos and shit I was like yo the poverty the poverty over there is fucking off the damn chain. See women over there on the corners, drug drug addicts, base heads and shit, rocking, walking up and down the streets, selling that ass, doing whatever. <laughs> Seeing black kids, young black kids, <coughs> fucking hanging out in front of abandoned homes. Boarded up homes and stuff, playing in the streets, but got nothing out there to play with. It's ridiculous. I'm seeing dudes just out there hustling, showing off their nice rides and shit. Um, I'm, I'm like, how the fuck do they survive out here? Not too many shopping areas, not too many jobs. But all the good jobs and stuff, you wanna get a good job, you gotta drive. You gotta drive the parts of Irvington and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go all, you know what I'm saying, like Newark. <coughs> it's ridiculous. I can see no one don't give a fuck about these neighborhoods. But they want to keep us in check. I guarantee these, I guarantee these politicians and liberals when they come around, they want the black votes. And what they're going to do to our neighborhoods? Nothing. They just want your votes. Look at me. I haven't voted for nobody ever since I fucking voted. I mean, when I registered to vote. Who I'm gonna vote for? I don't want to vote. People say like, "Oh, voting is this or that." I ain't voting for that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this could be your next president. Like, I ain't voting for him either. I didn't vote for Trump. I didn't vote for Hillary. Because I already know who's gonna win. It was Trump. He's gonna win. I knew that. Ben knew that from the back. Trump was using his own money to run his own campaigns, so be it. That man got it. He already got the win. <laughs> I'm saying, man, especially in my neighborhood, got two people running for mayor. I'm not gonna. 
He come up to me, shaking my hand, talking about this and that and stuff like that. Like, yo, I'm new to the neighborhood. Why would you want me to come vote for you? If I'm new to your neighborhood. Y'all quick enough to smile on my face and say this and that. But I'm saying, what about the poor neighborhoods? We need more youth centers out in the poor neighborhoods. We need to put in, you know what I'm saying? We need to put in um, some more spots, some more work location, work related locations. Something to help the people get back on their feet. Well, I saw in Newark, especially in the rough parts of Newark, all I saw was a Baptist church. Back to back, almost every street, on every other block is a church. Also on every other block that I see next to a church is a liquor store. I'm saying, what are these churches doing? Other than just having a place to worship, but what are you, what are they doing for the neighborhood that the churches are in? There's a lot of burned down homes that can be rebuilt, renovating, provide homes for lower income people. There's a lot of history over there, but it seems like. Everybody want to go all the way up on the Upper East Side. I want to live way up high. It's ridiculous. I just hate seeing young kids who's living in a neighborhood like that being raised by single mothers, single parent homes, or just single moms who just go out, have babies by different dudes in the, in the hood who ain't, who ain't shit. Who also had seen raised by their mothers. No father figure whatsoever. But it's okay. And I wish I had, if I had the resources to help out every young black youth and Hispanic kid out there. I even got offered at a youth center in my area to be a mentor, a father figure to some kids who don't have parents or foster homes and stuff. I said, hey, here's my number. Let me know when you want me to stop by. Because I'm not voting. Don't try to get my vote. I just want to help out. So, yo, like I said, when I drove right through Newark, Newark is rough. Black, them black poor, no man, them black people think that I was the police. I was just driving right through, looking at the neighborhoods. And what happened to the businesses that were there? Everything just went on. But, these politicians in the city, they definitely want your vote, though. But they won't give a shit about about your neighborhood, though. Or whoever runs it. So, yo, I'm Ricky Tice. Just putting out knowledge out there, man, of what I see. You know what I'm saying? You single mothers, stop having babies. Just stop. Think about your first or your second child's future first before you just go out there and open up your legs from a dude in the club. So, you think he's gonna stick around and stuff and you get knocked up and all of a sudden, you're back in the program so you can get your food stamps. So, be back later with another vid. Kind of crazy out here on the expressway. Peace.